so standing and they've reached the target so great news yeah it's fantastic that um, we've eventually got there and um, thanks to fans but uh, with their donation which has taken us over the line um, we can now plan ahead with trying to get the certification and everything else we need uh, in order to have a safe standing area here at Shrewsbury I mean it's great the fans back to come in and make up the final bit and push it over the line yeah yeah, it's been fantastic that they've come in and actually done that. Um, but to be fair, I think we've got to thank all the people who have, you know, there's nearly a thousand fans have donated to the cause. Not just Shrewsbury fans, but fans from all over the country, as well as sponsors as well who have put money in and backed the campaign and backed the crowdfunding. Um, and it's, it's just great to, to get over the line. I mean, it shows what the campaign means to the bigger, say, football family that people all over the country, all over the world, have uh, put a contribution to. Yeah, I think you just need to look at the publicity that the club have received from the safe standing um, when it's since it's been launched, and, and to see how the widespread opinion of it, people are keen to get sat standing back into football, and as long as it's in a safe environment, and hopefully this this does provide this this solution does it. So for us to be the first club in the country to potentially in England and Wales anyway to install this would be is fantastic for the football club, and also the club as well. We've chipped <coughs> in a little bit, a bit of money several thousand mm. and shirts and balls and stuff all the little bits to sort of help it yeah there's been quite a bit of bits going on even fans bit as well we've given them some branding um facing into the the into the, the safe standing area too so you know there have been a lot of balls and as you say um shirts etc but we've, we've been happy to support it we've obviously donated twenty thousand as well into the cause um but you know from day one i think we always wanted to support the guys and the supporters parliament and make sure that we got this over the line um, and we're delighted we've got that today and it's always nice to see Shrewsbury Town in the news for the right reasons and the word trailblazers will be thrown around but nice to be at the front of something. Yeah, I think I, think I said this from the start, it's really good that we are doing that and I think it's also important that when Fairco Seating, who supply it, are based in Shrewsbury then it it's, uh, it's makes a lot of sense that Shrewsbury Town are the first club in England and Wales to do that. And it, I suppose with the, the funds that's the, the first big hurdle through but in the background there's still safety advisory groups, other bits and pieces that, that yeah. need to be passed. Yeah, um, the next step obviously we've been working behind the scenes with the safety advisory group, the SAG, who are local um, based with council, fire service, police, ambulance etc to make sure that uh, we have all the certification in place. Now we are working towards January, February type of thing to have that all in place so we can hopefully get it installed at some point this season, hopefully around that time. Uh, we've had a couple of meetings with the safety advisory group, uh, we have a further one scheduled for this week um, with the group, the safety advisory group as well as um, we've got supporters parliament attending that as well and also um, I've also got uh, Ferco seating coming mm. along as well because I think we're all quite keen uh, to try and make sure that we do this properly. Um, I think from the safety advisory group's point of view they will need to make sure that uh, everything is done properly in the correct manner to, to safety advice and, and, and the green guide um, and it's really important that with, when they're the first ones awarding the certification in England and Wales that they get it right because I know there will be other councils on to them for future um, to sh let, ask them how they've done it for Shrewsbury Town. So in simple terms for people, we can't start putting <coughs> them in tomorrow, we've no. still got a little way to go. There is a process obviously from having been ready for uh, installation as well. They are whilst they are being manufactured, the units um, with by Ferco, they, they do that. Well, there is a lead in time for that, but obviously, at the time, we also need to make sure we've got the certification in place because we can't do anything until such times as we have the approval of the safety advisory group. We've got the Sports Ground Safety Authority approval, which is a higher authority, but then it goes down to the, the SAG, the SAG uh, locally, who will then hopefully give us this certificate in due course. The other thing in the background, I guess, is how it's managed on a match day, how it's stewarded, <coughs> yeah. how tickets are allocated. So, again, that's all going on. Yeah, Lauren Sellerby, our safety officer, produced an initial draft document, uh, which he shared with the, the SAG within the last week or so. Uh, and we'll be discussing that this week at the meeting because um, part of the process obviously is to make sure that how we steward it, how we manage it on match days to make sure there's not any overcrowding that if we have 555 spaces that only 555 people are allowed in etc so it's important that they're comfortable with how we how we manage it on match days I suppose the other thing to make clear is current regulations state that it can only be 
season ticket holders in there. Yeah, that's that's part of our management of it. Um, we've basically copied what Celtic did before, um, and the successful one they've had was that they had season ticket holders only, and they had a different colour season ticket. They had, you know, wristbands, etc. So there's there's ways of managing it to make sure that all, only those who um, should be on that area should actually get access to that area. So a little way to go, but. A great news today. Yeah, with it. great news and a big, a huge step forward. Um, we've got now got the funding in place, and it's now a case of getting the certification in place and getting inst installation dates.